In order for children to be effectively engaged in learning, they have to feel safe, they have to feel loved, they have to be healthy. There are a number of barriers that families face. There are two levels of hardship for whānau. One of them is material, which I think can be easily rectified, but the other one, the poverty of the mind and the spirit, and in Māori we call it poverty of the wairua. You know, a number of our families are in third, fourth generational cycle of dependency on the system. There's issues around food, there's issues around health from time to time with violence in the home. But what astonished me is about these kids is how resilient they are and how much they can persevere through all of that and still arrive at school into the classroom like every other kid in New Zealand. And they pick up their pencil and they start to learn. I have to say, when I started, I didn't know what I was taking on. I knew this was a poor population with poor health, but after 10 to 15 years, realised that actually making a really good hospital service made no difference to the health of the kids, and actually what we needed to do was get into prevention. Uh, respiratory infections, my particular interest. We have the highest rates in New Zealand for the kids under one, and we rate around the world as one of the highest rates. My children have really no chance of getting acute rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease. Um, the kids in Papakura, we see it regularly, and that's linked directly to housing and other things and overcrowding, which is appalling for a, a country like ours. We have to get serious about improving the health and obtaining equity, but I think it's so vital for New Zealand. And you cannot fix these health problems without sorting out the other issues. In our view, manaariki is possible by bringing together three things for children, and that is education, it is health, and it is homes. We're trying integration of strands of work, health, education and homes. We're trialling the interconnection of schools with one another. We're trialling the interconnection between community. But the idea is, is that you do that all together to get the outcome, which is the well-being of children, which is mana ariki. This is about a nation having some vision around what it wants to see here got to get in behind some of the toughest and hardest places to reach because if we don't the city will not succeed. I see the value for, for partners and they can be individuals, they can be organisations. If we can deal with some of the hardest to reach families in our nation the chances are we are going to create some amazing potential and transformation in this nation. This isn't about charity, this is about social investment and in kids. It's about investing in the future. We want our beautiful whanos and our beautiful babies out here to have the same opportunities as everybody else, equity at the gate in education, and to have a sense of pride, to regain their wai ora, their spirituality, if it's been lost.